everyone, this is Dakota with Waldemar Design and Machine, and I want to talk about our controls for our four rolls today. So you have the Beta 4.2, followed up by the Pre 4.2, and then finally we have the Auto 4.2 that we're going to be discussing today. So let's get started with the Beta, which comes standard with our four rolls, and it has push button controls for the drop end up and down on the left there. And then the top right, it's got rotation, forward and reverse, push buttons as well. The next set of buttons is for the far roll, and that is up and down controls. The pinch roll up and down. And then the near roll up and down. You can see there's also digital readout displays to give a numerical value to the roll position to ensure good part repeatability. You've got a knob there on the left for system speed from 0 to 10. Um, right below that you have a little selector switched where you can select between normal mode, roll trim, which roll trim allows you to lock out the drive inside of the bending rolls to where you just raise the drop inside to get a taper on your rolls for rolling cones. And then you also have rotation re-roll, which is for if you weld your cylinder shut on the roll, you can um, lower the pinch roll and raise the two bending rolls and just have it touch the bending rolls and the top roll to um, round your part back out again and it puts all the power in the top roll so that it makes that operation faster. Below that you have an on switch for turning on your control and then below that is a mushroom emergency stop um, shut off switch. And then you'll see at the very top above the digital readouts there is a spot for an optional DRO um, for length in inches and that's an option you can add to the beta 4.2 if you want to read out for that and you will need that if you are rolling um, parts that have a flat on the leading or trailing edge that's a certain length or else you're rolling a part with a multi radius so you have uh, multiple radiuses in your part you will need the digital readout length in inches but I think that pretty much takes care of it for the beta 4.2 control now for the Pre 4.2, which is an upgrade, you've got the joystick operation for forward and reverse, and joysticks for the far roll, the pinch roll up and down, and the near roll up and down, just like the beta, except it's joysticks instead of push buttons. And then you'll notice um, there you've got the push button still for the drop end up and down. And then you have a gauge button and you've got a selector switch between normal set point one and set point two. And then you will have another selector switch between normal roll trim and rotation re-roll, a control on button, and then a mushroom emergency stop switch as well. So as you will also see on this control, you're gonna have come standard with the digital readout for the length in inches. And that's because the pre 4.2 stands for preset control so you're gonna have two presets in here and that's why you have that selector switch for set point one and set point two and you can enter certain parameters once you know your parts um, where your bending roll far roll and pinch roll should be for a certain part you can program that into this control which I'm going to talk about the programming a little more when we go over the auto 4.2 but you can program it to where basically you hold the joystick in when it's at set point one, and when it hits your number, it's gonna stop and it won't let you go past that. Um, and then you'll get the next joystick for you know length and in inches, let's say. You hold that in until it stops, and then you hold your far roll in until it stops, et cetera, and you can cycle through the presets and get um, repeat repeatability that way. So you can have two-part storage in this one, um, and then also the gauge position button is for, um, you can hold that in for where, how far the far roll is going to come up to what we call a gauge position. So you can set, stick your material in and square it against that far roll um, before you pinch it to make sure your, your part starts square. And then if you'll notice under the forward and reverse um, rotation joystick, there's reverse set point three. So after the gauge position, obviously your material has been inserted in too far 
you can set a set point for how far it needs to back up before it stops so that you're just so gripping your workpiece before you um, cycle through the different set points there. And then also on the selector switch, you can run this control in normal mode as well, which is just manual mode, just like the beta 4.2 comes standard. Now for the auto 4.2, I'll show you the different controls here. So again, joysticks, far row up and down, pinch row up and down, near row up and down, and roll rotation forward and reverse. So you can see you have the corresponding digital readouts for that. You also have a cycle selector to, I'll talk more about that later, but the cycle between the different um, cycle options and then you have a push button to select between manual preset and auto mode and then you have a part selector so this one has six part storage so there's six parts to select from you have big push buttons for drop in to up and down you've got roll trim normal and rotation reroll selector button control on and off emergency stop mushroom button and then a system speed so first off, we'll take a look at the cycle selector, and this is if you're rolling in auto mode. So first off, there's a warm-up cycle that you can select, and that allows the system to get up to operating temperature. So if you're just starting up for the day, you can turn it on warm-up mode and auto cycle, and it's just gonna run through the system to warm it up, and it's just gonna keep cycling through um, without being under load. Then you have drop and open, and this is if you're doing an automatic cycle for a full cylinder. Um, and that allows um, the drop end at the end of the cycle will open up so you can take your part off. Drop in closed is the same thing, except it's if you're rolling segments. It will roll your part, and you don't need the drop end open um, to get your part off if you're just rolling a segment. So it'll leave the drop in closed, so it shortens your cycle time a little bit. Then you also have the tack mode there. So the tack is if you are wanting to um, tack weld your cylinder while it's still on the machine. It will roll a full cycle and then it will leave the drop in closed and leave pressure on the machine and um, run it in reverse until you can get the, the seam where you want it to tack weld it. And then um, after that you can open up the drop in and take it off. You also have that push button at the top. So like I said before, you can operate this control just like the other two controls we had shown. So manual would be, you know, manual operation just like the beta. Preset control would be to where, you know, you can move the joysticks and it's going to stop at your set parameters. And then full auto mode is going to take place. You just um, hold in the foot switch to raise the pinch roll um, to grip your material. Then once you release the foot switch, it's going to you know reverse and do um, the pre-bend and then the far roll is going to come up and it's going to cycle through the whole process completely automatically okay then if you see the white button there right beside it that is the pause or set point override button so if you're running in auto mode and you want to stop the cycle without doing hitting the emergency stop turning off the whole machine you can hit this button and it will pause the cycle where it's at um, without shutting the machine off and then if you are rolling in preset mode and let's say you are moving the near roll up but it hits the set the preset but you're like you know what I want to roll it just a little bit tighter so you want to move the near roll up just a little bit more you can hold in the that button and you'll override the set point so that you can continue to um, raise the roll past this the setting that you have yeah i think that about does it for the different options you do have that part selector up there like i said before um, part one two three four five and six and as you can see it has a list a side and a list of b side um, with this corresponding set point so i'm going to talk a little bit more about that now Okay, so how do you program uh, these set points in? As you'll see, we have a digital readout for each position. So this one is far roll position. If you hit the PAR button, which stands for parameter, you get to your set points. Um, you have set point one, set point two, three, and four. Um, and so set point one, and you just keep hitting parameter until you get to the end there. So we're in list A, set point one. It's set at 282, 283, 4, 
The F1 up arrow obviously increases the number, F2 down arrow decreases the number. And then if you want to, it's automatically in the ones place. If you want to change to the tens place or the hundreds place, you hit the RST or the reset button there to change that. And so once you figure out your numbers in manual mode, you can come in here to the presets and you can enter that for the corresponding part number. So we were in list A, now we turn the switch over to list B, and now it still says set point one, two, three, and four, but um, as you'll see here, it says list B now. So B, list B set point one is really part number four. That's why it has a four and SP1 on the part selector. And you do the same thing. So obviously you're gonna have to go through each digital readout. This one was for the far roll. You do the same thing for the pinch roll for how tight you wanna grip your material near roll, length and in inches, um, etc. So you may be seeing in the part selector we have three set points in list A side and three set points whenever you turn the knob and you're on list B side. But there's four set points in the digital readout. So the fourth set point is used for, um, if you look under the far roll position digital readout, it says list A is gauge list B is down and then on the length in inches readout list A is reverse and list B is pre-bend. So those use set point four. So if you're on list A side for the far roll position set point four you can set the gauge position. So in other words how far is the far roll going to come up um, so that you can square your part against it. And then when you're in list B, you have the down. So that's how far the bending roll or the far roll is going to go down whenever you cycle through because the far roll doesn't have to go clear back down to zero. Um, it just has to miss your part that you're rolling. Um, so it can speed up the time, cycle time, if you don't have to wait for that roll to go the whole way down because the way this works is that once it completes one action, it goes on to the next. And then on length and inches, list A, set point four is for reverse so after you've done the gauge position it's again like we talked about in the preset control how far does it need to reverse so it's still gripping the material but um, the minimal amount so you get the least amount of flat possible so you can program that set point four list a for length and inches side and then list b um, set point four is the pre-bend so how far do you want it to roll forward whenever the near roll is up doing your pre-bend before it stops and the near roll goes down and the far roll comes up. So you can set that on set point four, list B, length and in inches. Okay, I wanna mention yet, if you're rolling in preset mode to do the gauge position, if you're on the far roll joystick um, and you hold the joystick to the left, that raises the far roll to gauge position. And then for the forward pre-bend in the preset mode, joystick number four, which is roll rotation, if you hold it to the left, it's going to move for the forward pre-bend and then stop. So that's how you do it in preset. Okay, so in summary, all of our controls are literally just plug and play with a 32 position plug. It takes about 30 seconds to go from one control to the next. They all are on a freestanding rolling console. Um, they have a NEMA 12 enclosure and a stainless steel handrails. With all these controls, you can also add a foot switch to control pinch roll up, down, or rotation forward and reverse. So we recommend the Beta 4.2 for job shops that are doing batch quantities up to about 10 pieces. And the pre-control, for batch quantities, if you're doing a part, three to 100 pieces. And then the Auto 4.2, we recommend for people doing quantities of 50 plus pieces. All right, so let's take a look at the Auto 4.2 in action as we end this video.